In his second year of coaching the Orange, Doug Marone has given Syracuse a reason to believe in SU football again. Johnny Mangano takes a look at what it is about Coach Marone that has this program pointed in the right direction. Fans on the Hill want to forget the Greg Robinson era. For four long years, Robinson had a miserable record of 10-37. and 37. He won just three conference games. But the hiring of Doug Marone last year ushered in a new phase for Orange football, one where players were held more responsible for their actions. I think it's accountability with the little things. It sounds stupid, but I really believe every coach in America knows the formula for success. But it's hard to work the formula on a daily basis, and that's what Coach Marone demands, and it makes our job easy. Marone has already led the team to more wins this year than last year, but he's not satisfied at all. Well, right now, you know, we're five and two. Uh, and the only thing I'm guaranteed is that at the end of the year, when this season's over, I have five wins. And that's not what our objective is. Their objective is to get to a bowl game, something the Orange hasn't done since 2004. Antoine Bailey points out that team success starts with none other than Doug Marone. He's the, he's the, he's the head man. He keeps everyone level-headed, keeps everyone focused, and he's going to make sure that we're not getting beside ourselves or we're not getting too high or we're not getting too low, you know? Under Greg Robinson, there was no respect for Syracuse. Now Big East teams are starting to take notice, and it's something Marone's players can get behind. 